Hey folks, how are you? Hope you're very well indeed. Welcome to day 96 of Bindle's Luscious Limberings. Excitingly, for the first day today, coming to you from Curfew, Melbourne. There's a treat. Uh, something which is necessary and good, so let's just get through it, to be honest. Hasn't really changed my life that much because there wasn't too much I was doing after 8pm anyway, let's be honest. Uh, I hope that everyone is okay though, uh, joking aside, um, you know, reach out. Dig in, here we go, we got it. In the meantime, let's keep fit. So let's do general mobility today, first day of the week, just getting everything moving. Mm, actually, I was gonna say nothing too strenuous, but I'm not sure, let's just see how we go. Uh, but hi, Rupert again, checking this window for us as he normally does. It's really nice to have him on board. Let's say hi, Rupert, yeah, he yawned, that, says, that means hi. Alright, if you're following my playlist at home, please get ready to start. Three, two, one, go. Didn't work. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Let's do it again. You back? You good? Okay. Three, two, one, go. That time. Whew, tense times in Melbourne. Great. Let's just start by putting the weight into the ball of one foot and just super gently circling around the other. I am bending down this leg just slightly. Hey Ruby, how are you doing mate? Just slightly, just so I can get a little bit of leverage, a little bit of room to move this leg. Nice and casual and the other way. Remember, move it from the hip. So we're getting the benefit of working through the ankle a bit through the knee, but also working through the hip rather than just thinking about the ankle. Keep breathing deep into the belly. Good, other leg. If you like me, sometimes you like to just roll the toes as well. Why not? Get some extra bang for your buck. Multitasking. And then just go back to the ball of the foot. You mix it up, you do you. And go the other way. Good, and just kick them out nice and easy. And flick out the arm. Any angst you have, just flick it out. No one needs that. No one needs that rubbish. Go to the sides. Flick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Feet tip width apart. Roll. Get a bit of energy into it. Why not? Good. One forward, one back. So, one sorry, one back, one forward. Concentrate a little bit more about that. Good. And just one shoulder going backwards. Getting a slight knee bend now as well. And the other arm. Good. And two arms together with the elbows. Really find some openness through the back of the neck. So lifting up from the top of the head broadening between the shoulder blades, expanding across where the diaphragm is, and opening right out. I don't know why I looked behind, because if someone was really standing behind me, I'd be having other things to worry about than um, hitting them. <laughs> yep, let's not dwell on that. Good, and going forwards. Nice and easy. Find the emptiness through the arms and forwards with the elbows. Now the neck might be crunching, so start to think about it spreading and opening. Good, take the stance a little bit wider and going into chicken backstroke. And really start to feel like your weight's dropping deep into the floor, so you can start to push from one foot to the other. It's almost like there's a slight, ugh, Left down through the floor. Push the earth away from you. Now central off and double time. Nice and light. Good. And drive through. Two. Each time you bend your knees, push the earth away from you a little more. Technically, on a minuscule level, that's actually what you're doing. 
Good. And double arm to the right. Really let this go from the spine so you can just switch the arms off. Let them spread out further and further from the back. Nice and easy. I don't think I've said nice and easy quite enough. <laughs> and go the other way. Good. Settling off into a bit of a horse stance. And we're going to do a little bit of painting the fence, but exaggerated. I don't really mind which way your wrists go, as long as you're moving the wrists. And let's go a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and going to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, arms up and pushing. Go like in the 45 degrees in front of you. Horizontal. And 45 degrees down. Good, hands to hips. Go a little low with the legs, you can do it. Still lifting up through the top of the head. Front to back. Really indulge in that roll under so you get a nice stretch across the small of the back. Stay low, you love it. And circle, drawing a perfect circle on the ground with your butt pencil. For those of you who don't remember, that's the pencil that's sticking out of your butt and drawing on the ground. Go the other way. And five, six, seven, good. Hands to the side and ring. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bend over and do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Hands on your knees. And we're going to do a Britney Spears. And back up. You do it how you want. <laughs> and up. Again. Down. Two. And up. Two. Down. Stay there with the hands on the knees. And we're going to do shoulders. In. And double time on this. Beautiful, bring the legs together. I would go step, behind, step, behind, step, behind. Now go a little bit lower. So you really have to engage through the legs, through the thighs. And I'm not putting any weight on this back leg here. All the weight's in the front. Now get the arms involved, go lower if you can. Two, three, Four. Last one is really stick the butt out behind you. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Leg out wide and just relaxing over. Deep breaths. And we work the butt. Good. Bend the knees and take yourself back to the end of the mat. And we're going to just Mess around with the yoga type sequence. Breathing in, two, three, four, down, two, three. Look forward and lengthen, and down. Roll it up, straight back down again. Look forward and lengthen. And down. Look forward and lengthen again. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, walking forward into a plank. Breathing in. Two, three, 
Walk back again. Two. Breathing in to look forward and lengthen. Breathing out to go down. Breathing in to roll up. Go straight back out again, breathing out. Breathing in to look forward and lengthen. Relax down. Two, three, breathing in to walk out. One, two, three, four, breathing out to go down. Two, don't touch the floor. Breathing in to come back up again. Breathing out to walk back. Breathing in to look forward and lengthen. Sorry, that might be breathing out. <laughs> rolling up. And rolling down, breathe out. Breathe in to look forward and lengthen. Breathing out to go down. Breathing in to walk out. One, two, three. Breathing out to go down. Two, three. Breathing in to go up. Two, three, four. Breathing out to go down. Bum in the air. Breathing in to go into a child pose. Breathing out into an upward dog. Hold there for a sec. And just... Relax through the neck. Go both ways if your head bones aren't sticking. Good, tuck the toes under, lift the butt into a down dog. And just walk through the feet. Then on the mouth into a stretch. Walking the hands back to the feet. Breathing in to look forward and lengthen. Breathing out to go down. Breathing in to roll up. Straight back in, we're going to roll through. Breathing out to go down. Two, three, four. Breathing in to look forward and lengthen. Breathing out to go down. Two, three. Breathing in to walk down to a plank. Two, three. And going down. Two, three. Breathing out to go back up. Two. And into, just hold, lengthen in through the spine. Sorry, I said we're going to roll through, the video just stopped. <laughs> Good, just pull the butt up, straight into a down dog. I reserve the right to change my mind as I go. <laughs> Sorry, folks. It's like you teach it if you need to. Good, and just twist the hips. Good. Reaching up. Don't go too high and straight back down. Other leg, reaching up, not too high. And down. And again, reach up. And down. Just after just finding some looseness here, so don't really have to go to your extreme of movement. Good. From here, we're going to go up, in, up, and down. Up to the chest. Up, and again. Up to the chest. Up, and down chest. Good. Put the knees down and we grab the butt like you love it. Good. Four to the left and four to the right. Four to the left. Four to the right. Good. We're going to do our circle. So up, side and down. Up, side, and down. Make sure that you're engaging through the shoulder blades, letting the belly button draw into the spine. Good. We're going to go to reverse back. So, side, up, and down. Side, up, and 
and down, keep going, side, up and down, side, up and down, good, into the other leg, up, side and down, up, just check in with your spine, if you're letting your belly arch towards the floor, make sure that you draw the belly button to the spine, draw that imaginary clock face in on the belly, and draw the shoulder blades together. And make sure you're looking a little bit in front of you, not in front of your hands, not in between your hands. Let's reverse direction. Side, up, and down. Side, up, and down. Side. Good. Back to centre. Just wiggle out the butt. Draw back onto your knees. Let's just roll out those wrists. And the other way. Beautiful. Back onto all fours. And drop through the shoulders. And then rising up. And again, working through the traps. Squeezing those shoulder blades apart and then together. Go up onto your toes and down two, two more down two, up last one down two, and up good back on the knees. Just roll out through the wrist. We don't want to stress the body too much, no, we'll get scared. Good, rolling onto your backs. I'm gonna say rolling, you know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna do single leg tabletop raises, so up, two. So here, remember we're drawing a belly in on a clock face, imaginary clock face. Now we're gonna go half time. Try and keep it continuous the whole way. So rather than getting there and waiting, just control the movement the whole way. Keep going. If you want, you can raise your hands up. Good. Other leg. Faster again. So up. Two. Make sure the movement's coming from the hips. You're not cheating by bending the knee. Six. Seven. And now going half time. So continuous movement the whole way. Keep the control. Try not to let it rest when you get to the floor. Just slightly toe touch. Just let it know. I'm still in control. Good. Now we're going to go up, up, down, down on the same side. Up, up, down, down. Stay leading with the one leg for the moment. And leave with the other leg now. Up, up, down, down. Good. Now just to switches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight. Seven, six, five, four. Almost done. We're going to do this, but half time. One. Two, one, two, one, two, halfway. Keep breathing, breathing is good. Good, put that foot down and up, bridge. Remember with the bridge, you can have your hands down this way if you want. Up. If you want a bit of extra workload, then put the hands above the head. Keep going. I'm just redoing my hair, which is very important. And also very difficult when you have um, cords. 
coming up your head. Keep going. Maybe you'll have to leave my hair. This is called being a professional. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, if you're good with that, we're going to go up and out. Bounce. Good, changing legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Go down. Just rest for a second. Go back up. And if you're feeling good, leg goes up, down. Otherwise, just stay through standard bridges. You can also place the leg out here if you like, depending on how much you want to work and where you want to work. Good, and down, changing legs. Good, going down. Legs come forward and down. Burst that imaginary balloon into the floor. Did I say that? I meant to say burst the imaginary balloon into the ball, into the ground. Burst an, burst an imaginary balloon in the small of your back into the ground. You got it. Wow. Good. All right. Legs going to go one, two, three, and in. One, two, three, and in. And if you want to increase the lower back leg, bring up the uh, legs. The oh my God, bring up the shoulder blades. I'm just not going to talk. Good, changing legs. Make sure you're engaging through the belly and not through the neck. Good, come straight up and we're gonna go out. Two, and in. And again. If you're feeling good, do a crunch as the legs go out. Out. Two. It's slow, so you've got to control it. Try and keep a constant pace the whole way. Couple more. Let's go a little faster. Good stuff. Bring the knees in. Just circle them around. And the other way. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Turning onto your side. And clams. Open. And close. And open. If you want to, raise up the feet. And close. Make sure you're drawing this top hip down. So out, in, that's the next extension. So the top hip's drawing down, the pelvis is perpendicular to the floor. Don't roll it one way or the other, that's cheating. Couple more. Language warning on this song, if you're on my playlist. Good, pop the knee down, the leg down, and just pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep the plan. We're going to go bend and out, bend and up. Good, changing sides. Hello, plants. And 
And just starting with the routine clams, drawing the top hip down so you've got a small gap between your waist. If you want to, raise up the feet. Small gap between the waist and the floor. That's what I was going to say. Apparently I don't finish sentences so they all make sense. And out. In. And down. And again. Two more. Two, three, four, out. Two, good. Pop that top leg down. Make sure the pelvis is square. Five, six, seven, and eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And in and out. Draw that belly button in. Two, three, Oh, good. Just rolling onto a plank, lengthening through from the heel to the tip of the head. Let's do our obliques because you know I love that. We're going to stay with this but go half time. One, two, three, four, last four, five. Six, seven, stepping out, right foot, right and left, right, left, that's what I meant, I meant right, left, right, wow, other leg, left, right, left, right. Good, from here, lift the butt up and go down and back up. Couple more. Good. Couple more, dropping down through the shoulder blades and up. And shoulder blades. Good. Knees down, back into a child's pose. Just relax for a sec. Now we're just going to do a couple of push-ups, a normal thing of doing eight. Hands one at the side, one in front. So do as many as you can in the eight, in the count of eight. Make sure they're good quality. So one thumbs up, the other one standard. Draw through the shoulders, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, good. Let's roll that out. Next one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, good. knees down. Arch up and down and up. Couple more. Good, level up, tuck the toes under, lift the butt up into a down dog. Just walk the feet to the floor. Lift the butt towards the ceiling, try and put the heels on the, the thighs and the wall behind you. Walking hands in, rolling up through the spine. Scroll through the shoulders. Roll out the wrist. Make sure the space around you, we're gonna go bent leg. Two, three, straight leg. One, two, three, to the side. One, two, this week three, to the side. One, two, and change legs. Lift up tall out of your hips. And straight leg. Two, three, to the side. One, two, lift up through the hips, engage through the core. One, two, if you feel like it, let's tuck in some arms. One, two, three, try and touch the toes. One, two, three, to the side. One, two, three, 
straight leg. One, two, three, that's hard. <laughs> One, two, three, tight to toes. One, two, three, to the side. I don't know why I always check. Probably because I have a cat. One, two, good. Stepping like we did before, this time bring the arms up and down. Bit lower. Good, now we're gonna go step behind, up to knee. Behind to knee. Bit faster. When I say to knee, you know I clearly meant to elbow. Good, other one. Step behind to the elbow. Good, here we go. Really reach up. Do a victory pump, come on. Yes, winning. Good, and shoulders. Go lower. Go as low as you can without being ridiculous. Good, and just swing. Get a bit more of a rotation on that swing, so you're turning around to almost look behind you. Good. Stretching up. And rolling down. Just take yourself a bend in the knees and then straight until you find a stretch. You can put your hands behind the heels or the calves or whatever you find where you can reach. Beautiful. Take yourself onto one leg forward and going out. It's the opposite. Arm to the leg that's forward for the moment. Good, now do the other arm. You can get a really nice stretch through the back there. Beautiful, changing over legs. So starting with the opposite arm to leg. Good, changing over arms, and that's the same arm as leg. So up, two, and down. You can really stretch across the back here. Couple more. Good. Just rock back. Then forwards into a flexible stretch. Make your legs are far enough apart that when you come up, your shin's perpendicular to the ground. Good, just changing over legs. And for me, I just finished my playlist, so I'll just take that away. I just keep them rocking between the two. Oh wow, my head was great. They did a really good job of that. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> ah, we've been together for 96 sessions. There's, there's no pretense anymore, is there? <laughs> wow, that's special. <laughs> Good, and then just with that one leg that's in front now, just 
drop over it for a stretch. Just keep this foot relaxed to start with. And then if you can reach the toes, you can just pick them up. Remember, don't worry about how far forward you're going. Just go until you find a stretch. And then topping round to the other leg. Just starting with a nice relaxed foot at the beginning. And then if you can reach the foot, just pop off the ball of the foot. Otherwise, just keep on stretching as you were. Remember, the chest always feeling like it's going upwards and forwards. Good. And then just take this up into an apron, hanging over, and pop out one hip, then the other. And then swinging from side to side. If you want, you can interlace the elbows just so that you've got a bit more sort of weight helping to drag down the stretch through the small of the back a bit more. And you can turn it into a figure of eight or an infinity sign. And the other way. Beautiful, just bend the knees for a sec, just to let the blood drain out of the head. Back up again, fingertips out as far as you can, pull back against it, lifting it up towards the ceiling. Just going over to the left leg and stretch. And across to the right. And back to center, bend the knees. Keep the head heavy, rolling up through the spine, stacking one vertebra on top of the other. And bring the feet back in together. Yes, quarantine hair, by the way, lockdown hair, yes. Uh, this is called I Haven't Had a Haircut Since November. Hey, thanks for joining me. Uh, Melbourne's, Melbourneans, we will get through this, of course we will, because what else can we do? Uh, take care of yourself, take care of each other. And I hope that you're keeping safe and finding ways to keep positive. Again, as always, thank you so much for your messages and for joining me. It really makes a huge difference to me. So thank you. I appreciate it. And let's go, team. We got this. Hey, 100 at the end of this week. Please be kind to yourself and be kind to others. That's a lot. Bye.